I am Dr. Franklin Yao with Vanguard Vascular and Vein. In this brief video, I will be discussing with you the TCAR procedure with the Silk Road system. I will be discussing how we perform this procedure as well as what you can expect if you are about to undergo this procedure. Thank you for tuning in. I will have answers to all your questions coming right up. TCAR stands for transcarotid artery revascularization. This procedure um, involves the placement of a carotid stent inside the carotid artery to fix a carotid blockage that may cause a stroke. The Silk Road system is a system to provide cerebral protection, which is the prevention of a stroke during the procedure from any plaque that may be disrupted during the placement of this stent. The T-card procedure is performed through a small incision made at the base of the neck, as opposed to a longer incision for a traditional carotid surgery. Direct access to the carotid artery also helps avoid the complications associated with transfemoral carotid stenting. A guy wire is inserted directly into the carotid artery through a needle for placement of a specially designed sheath. This special sheath enables us to reverse the blood flow in the carotid artery during the procedure for cerebral protection. Any debris such as clot or plaque is removed and filtered out during the procedure and the blood is returned into a leg vein. The carotid stenosis is pre-dilated with balloon angioplasty. An appropriately sized carotid stent is deployed to keep the artery open. Forward flow is restored the sheath is removed and the carotid artery sutured repaired prior to skin closure. Patients are observed overnight and are discharged home the next day. They usually can return to their normal activity right away. The TCAR procedure can be a safer option for patients who are high risk for surgery, such as patients with severe heart and lung disease, or patients with a history of neck surgery or neck irradiation. The TCAR procedure with the Silk Road system is a welcome advancement in vascular surgery for the treatment of carotid disease. In many patients, it may be a safer option than traditional carotid surgery or transfemoral carotid stenting. I hope that this video has been educational. Thank you for tuning in. Please check out our other available videos or subscribe to our channel.